What if there was one tool that could automate all of your finance processes? And what if that one tool was totally free? Well, that tool exists and it's called N8N. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a basic automation with N8N so you can understand just how powerful this can be and how easy it is to learn. Let's check it out. Now your first step essentially always needs to be a trigger. So when I hit add first step, so let's go ahead and hit on a schedule. We wanna set here is we wanna do this as a custom running with a cron job. Uh, cron means that this can run on a specific schedule we designate. We'll paste it over here. And it and recognizes that as valid, and then we execute the step, which means it's be ready to feed data into the next step as we develop. We'll hit execute step. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to get data from Google Sheets. So we're going to go ahead and add Google Sheets. So what we want to do is we've got a file in Google Sheets that's extracting data from our point of sale system, and we want to evaluate our performance against budget to create kind of a daily report of sorts that we don't have to run. So we're going to want to get rows from that sheet. So we're going to go ahead and click get rows in sheet. And then you're gonna have something that looks like this where you can select my Google Sheets account, which is going through the Google API. So we'll select that. Then you're gonna select where you wanna go in Google and the operation is still getting rows. So in this case, I wanna to go to my F9 Finance Coffee Shop Financials and I wanna pull it from GL Data, which is conveniently the only sheet. There's other things you can do if you wanna filter at this point, you can do that right in here, but all we wanna do is just pull, because again, I'm keeping this the most basic, assuming that you've never worked with NADN before. We'll go ahead, we'll hit execute step. All right, so we've got this node all built out. Now the next node is where we're gonna to need to evaluate the data that came in. So now we're gonna be adding an if then node. So this is gonna let us separate into two branches if it is true or if it is false. So now this is where it gets super easy with the drag and drop. All I have to do is come over here and say, if my actuals, I can just drag that in there. A lot of different options here, just like in Excel. If my actuals are greater than, my budget times 1.1. So what this is saying is I wanna take my budget and if it's more than 10% over budget, then I wanna take action on this. So I'm gonna come over here. In this case, I'm just gonna be using kind of the F9 Finance Gmail suite. You could do this through Outlook or whatever you need to. We're gonna to go to action and app. We're gonna search for Gmail. So we'll create a draft. All right, so I've got my Gmail account connected. I want this to go to a draft, but you can do a message, a label, a draft, thread, whatever you want. The operation is gonna be create the draft. Our subject line is gonna be budget alert. So this message is gonna say the following cost centers exceeded budget. The account is at actuals versus budget. So it will say, this is what's over. It's gonna run the output. This will take a little bit longer because it's going to Gmail to create those drafts. All right, so it says it's created all of the messages. Here's the IDs. So coming to my drafts in my inbox, you're gonna see here are all of the budget alerts. And that is our simple workflow.